Night falls on the Westgate shopping centre in the Kenyan capital. Overhead, helicopters circle the building. Security forces surround the site of the attack. Witnesses say that around noon, the gunman burst into the four-storey building, firing automatic weapons and throwing grenades. Shocked, clutching their loved ones, dozens of people escape to safety, using any means they can. There was a shooting on the ground floor, and slowly, slowly they're going up and up. I went up to Juba, and they came till there. Somehow some police has rescued us. The situation is very bad inside. As ambulances rushed to the scene to treat the injured, police began combing the building. The army and special forces also arrive on the scene in an effort to release those still trapped inside and recover the bodies. Sporadic gunshots could be heard hours after the attack began. One officer said the gunmen were barricaded inside a supermarket. According to witnesses, the attackers took scores of hostages. First indications point to a terror attack. Some of the fighters appear to have escaped unscathed. I saw an Arab, Arab, Arab guy, a strong guy, an Arab, not a Somali guy, an Arab guy, and uh, he was holding a gun and everything. And I saw this Arab guy changing his clothes. And after changing his clothes, he was hiding around there. So when we were rescued, he came out with us. On Twitter, Somali Islamists claim responsibility for the attack. A spokesman for the Al-Shabaab group claimed the massacre was revenge for Kenya's 2011 military campaign on Somali soil and that there'd be no negotiations with the Nairobi government.